Hi there, so my name is Kelsey and lately I've been doing a series on my channel where I look through all of my old art that I've saved over the years. If you're interested, the, the previous videos are in a playlist all neat and tidy for you to go check out. So today we're gonna go through the second half of all the art that I made in 2017 because apparently in 2017 uh, I had nothing better to do than draw. So before we jump into all this art, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an amazing online platform to create your own website. Connect with your audience and even generate revenue on one easy to use platform. Display posts from your social media profiles on your website and automatically post website content to your preferred social media channels so your followers can share it too. Squarespace has a ton of online templates for specific categories you're looking for and makes creating a website that much simpler. So if you want to dabble with Squarespace, there's a 14 day free trial. And if you're happy with what you made, go to squarespace.com forward slash Kelsey Animated to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now on with the video. So this one is a big beefy sketchbook, right? So I wanna save this beauty for last. Let's get into this one, cause it's the smallest. I don't know what notebook this is. It looks like it's for an art class. Wow. Aww. Even in, what, what year was it? Even in 2016, we predicted the future. That's so cute. Look, he's gonna be my husband. Aww, that's cute. Joey and I fused into one person. That seemed to be a theme. Uh, I don't know who this couple is, but they look pretty cute. Aww. Mm, here are my favorite characters, Steve and Jeff. Also, throughout this video, and all my other videos, I make a lot of characters, and if they have any lore to them, if any at all, then I like briefly explain it. So if you wanna know more about them, you can watch the other videos if you have the time to. Um, this is Danny and whoever her girlfriend's name is. Aww, being insecure, shut up. How could anyone love me? Girl, the last page, you literally said you were gonna be a wife one day. This is my Sarah and Beth comic that I made in my last video where I like actually read the comic, but basically it's just like a drama type love story thing of this is Sarah and this is Beth. And here she is leaving. I really like the eyes on this. I don't know why, but like sad, droopy eyes. I just really like the look of, aww. Here's Sarah and Beth again. Can you wear something other than alien stuff? What's wrong with aliens? We're going to dinner, Beth. Wear a nice shirt, please. Haha, <laughs> Beth is a nerd. You know, you don't have to get all dressed up for me. Why? I don't care what's in, oh. It's kinda get the disco lyrics, okay. Yeah, you were indeed a homosexual. There's them fighting. This, I believe, is like a gender swap thing. Where this is me, and me gender swapped is Kellen. And then this is Sarah and Beth, but now it's Sean and Beth. And then Steve and Jeff is now Stevie and Joan. Rhonda. Um, that's Dick. <laughs> So this is Sarah and Beth when Sarah had her baby. And there's their daughter, uh, Lynn, I think. And then this is their son, Artie. And then Sarah dies immediately. <laughs> it's your baby brother. I don't want him. Put him back. This is bad joke. Mom is a rock. It's a tombstone, Artie, but okay. Oh, that's pretty blunt. Do you know how mom died? She died having you already. Is that why you don't like me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and there's their wedding day. That is the ugliest dress I have ever seen. One more Sarah and Beth. 
Where's Sarah Beth? Oh, here's a timeline of them. That's when they first meet, when they're dating, when they're married. When they have Lynn, when Sarah dies, and then uh, she's a single mom. Um, that's Lynn and Artie. I don't remember if her name is actually Lynn because I'm terrible with names, even if they're fictional characters. I imagined Beth would become an art teacher because in the comic she's like in college for like some art related thing. So I'm thinking that she likes, you know, visual arts. And there's just them having fun. Ooh, everybody loves Desmond. So this is Desmond. He's like a demon boy. And then this is Boy. Yes, I named him Boy. How original. And then they're boyfriends. Here's a timeline I don't completely understand. So I guess he had an ex-boyfriend. And then he met Boy and now he's happy. This is Irene. Get it? Because she only has one eye. And then this is... I don't remember her name. Cute. Oh yeah, I don't know if uh, this was in any of the others, but uh, Desmond has like a ton of eyes underneath his hair that he covers up. This is kind of funny. Oh, more Desmond and boy. More Desmond and boy. Mm. I don't remember whose character this was, but this is Max. He's a little... He's a emo boy with white hair. And at the time, I originally planned for him to have a love story with this demon girl named Nine. But now he is in a band called Downhearted. I guess that was his ex. Oh, maybe he already is in a band. Because I guess this is older Max because he doesn't have an emo haircut anymore. He's getting an interview on TV. Then, I don't know who this is, but I like her hair. Ooh. So this is Andre. He used to be in the band, but then one of their band members died and they kind of like all stopped talking to each other after that. He was the drummer and Max was the singer. And I guess uh, they're meeting each other. And actually, never mind. That was it for this one. So tired all the time. Girl, you don't even know. So this one is a folder of all my sophomore year drawings. Let's start with the first semester and let's hope, oh, oh, what is this? Oh, this is my religion. If you don't like it, unfollow me, gross. So this is Joey and I gender swapped what is your art style? Girl, I don't even know now. I guess Joey was wearing a nice outfit, so I decided to draw it. Drip. Um, I don't know who these are. They were in the other sketchbook too, but I don't know their names. <laughs> Looks like here are some gems. This is Yellow Barrel and red barrel and they made orange barrel and then I think this is some like rose quartz that wasn't my character but I don't remember whose it was there's them again and again oh so every like at around Christmas time I draw these two L's I had their names but you can even check on my Instagram because I think last Christmas I drew them as well. But I had the story where there are Christmas elves and then there are regular elves. And this little regular elf wants to become a Christmas elf and the, the hijinks ensue and it was a cute little story. Carol. Bro, look at the drip. Remember those like chunky DC looking shoes? I feel like I wore those for a little too long. Here's like a self insert Steven Universe character where she's an emerald. No, she's a Jasper. I cannot read. Oh, look at the blush. That's so cute. Aww. They're so cute. 
Ooh, I don't remember their names. I think it was like Haley and Amelia or something. Why? I don't understand how their faces fit together. And here's some drawings of me. Some like expressions and more expressions. Steven Jeff. More Steven Jeff. Aww. I love the ship dynamic where one person is like really affectionate and then the other one like hates being touched. So in the last sketchbook tour, I told you guys that I had an obsession with episode or I think you guys said it was called something else, like stories. I don't know, some like episode app. And this was my character, Sarah Lynn. And then this was me. The new girl, the goth, the pramp, the jock, the nerd. Uh, yep, that's me. I bet you're wondering what happened. Well, I was uh, having a private intimate moment with my girlfriend and Chris bust in without knocking because he thinks we were together when we obviously aren't. <laughs> Here's like a fourth wall kind of comic. I love you, Stevie. Who are you? I created you. No, my mom did. Your entire universe is a product of my imagination. Hey, are you ready for your date? She's making you do this. There she is. What the fuck, Steve? She's just drawing. Hang on, go see what she's drawing. Hey, what are you? And then it's the exact comic right here. Hey, y'all, what's up? Everything is a lie. Go see what she's drawing. What you draw? Richard. <laughs> Who are you? I'm your maker. I created your universe. I don't exist here. Your world is my imagination. Everything that has ever happened to you, I make it happen. If you're our god, then why did you make me and my mom suffer and struggle through most of my childhood? Character development. What? So a 15 year old girl is the god of my entire universe is telling me that my suffering was all for character development? Yeah. Uh, I am not like reading this. That's too many words. I don't, I can't read. So this is Steve, that's his mom, and that's his stepmom. Look at Steve trying to be included. Here's Desmond and Boy. Ugh, I don't know what this style was, but I really don't like the noses. Aw, Pokemon, that's cute. Love that dynamic. <gasps> Oh, they were given names. Her name is Jinx and the mermaid is Cynthia. That's cute. I have to remember that. So every Halloween or so, I have this witch and her mermaid girlfriend and I didn't realize that they had names. That's so cute. Jinx and Cynthia. That's so cute. Oh, and here I tried to make Steve and Jeff a wizard and a mermaid. Me without boyfriend? Me with boyfriend? This is Kennedy and Carter. I don't know how to do math. I'm too busy drawing. <laughs> Fast forward like how many years and I failed a statistics class this semester. That's cool. So this is Jinx and Cynthia. This is Estella and Orion. And this is Danny and uh, No Name. I haven't seen her have a name yet. Stella and Orion, I made a comic about them. I'll link the video to it somewhere, but where I read the comic that I made for them. And then here are my elves. Here's some more elves. Um, oh, this is a fusion of that rose quartz and then yellow barrel. I guess this was like a story in the episode cause that's like Sarah and what's her face? Oh, <laughs> I'm complaining about the other romanceable character in that because I was not interested in him at all. Joey and I gender swapped. There's a surprisingly amount of that. Ice skating. I remember this. So we did a trip for school to go ice skating and it, it was horrible because um, I didn't know how to ice skate. I thought it would be fun. I go over there. None of my friends want to even step on the ice. So I was out in the rink alone, holding on for dear life. And then none of them would ice skate with me. So I just sat on the bench because I felt really isolated and left out. 
So that was a fun time. Still don't know how to ice skate. The Yuri on Ice reference. This is Feda. She's like an angel character. Aw, Cynthia. There's Pearl. That's a pretty good Pearl. I would say that her like feet are like extremely long though. What is this? What does this mean? <laughs> what is that? There's Sarah and Beth. Here is um, Jinx and her supposed arch nemesis. Oh, it's so cute. OCs that I never talked about. Holly and Haley. So I guess her name is Holly. Lame. Here's Kennedy and Carter. Gross. Here's Beth and Sarah again. Uh, I guess she's taking a tour of her campus. Um, I don't know what this was supposed to be, but I'm glad I didn't finish it. Here's some Steven Universe gems. Um, more Steven Universe gems. Don't want to read that. Um, here's Desmond and Boy if they were humans, and then Steve and Jeff if they were demons. Aww. Here are my cats at home. I mean, what? This is so relatable. Uh, this one right here is my favorite piece. Okay, let's uh, let's go into folder two. Okay, here's the second half of that folder, and we got a little few cards right here. So if you I have context. I have these three demon characters, Nine, Vi, and Wisp. And Wisp usually looks like this with like the, the bandages around her eyes. And I guess I was thinking like what she would look like as she grew up or like she has a third eye or something. Um, I guess these are math doodles. So there's probably a lot. How in the world could I draw this much in one semester of school? That is insane to me. Stella and Orion. Uh, I guess I was talking about uh, why Orion looks the way he does. Okay, so it wasn't in the comic because the comic that I read was only like the intro to like what their story is. But originally, I think their storyline was that Orion crashes and Estella, like, fixes his ship for him. And then they go back to his planet and then he betrays her. But then because they became such good friends that he saves her. And I, it's cheesy, but that's the story. And this is her being captured. This is the his planet's leader and he is expecting some reward because I'm thinking that the reason he was sent to Earth in the first place was kind of like an Invader Zim thing where he was like outcasted and they just wanted to get rid of him. And he was told that like maybe if he brought a human back he could um, be, you know, be rewarded in some way. But she doesn't do it anyway. <laughs> hey, yo, Joey on a body pillow? New merch? <laughs> Boy! Sorry, I'll leave. I guess these are just like the expressions. Ah, it feels so good to be drawn again, even if it's just a crap doodle. Ah, it's so nice to hold you again. Aha, uh -huh, you're welcome. You replaced us with other characters in the first place. What? No. Steven Jeff again. Someone should make this like a drinking game where every time I say Steve and Jeff, take a shot. Get alcohol poisoning. The band that Max is in, Dan is like the guitarist. And, uh, ew. Why did I say this? Oh, so here is uh, Andre from the band when they finally meet up again. And that's Dan and he's showing off his wife and kids. Like I feel the proportions of children and regular people are like so off. I don't, here's some fun expressions. You know what? The reason I drew so many expressions was because I was like, this is gonna be my little, my little YouTube character. And so I gotta draw her with different faces. I did not know how to draw people kissing. Like what? So 
this person is named Trey and I guess they're like Steve's friend that I made where they're like a big theater kid. Oh, this is where uh, Trey meets Jeff. Please don't say anything stupid or rude or Steve, I'm sure. Steve, it's okay. I'm sure your boyfriend is great. Ah, hey, sorry. I didn't know you were dating a model. <laughs> I'm so excited. Finally, I got a digital art program. You're so dumb, it's just a program. Let me be happy. Uh, so I guess I finally bought Clip Studio Paint and I've been using it ever since. Remember when I did uh, Heather's animatics? I remember I was really proud of this uh, JD right there. <laughs> well, I drew Jeff's family and this is his dad and his mom and his cat and his two twin sisters. So Jeffrey's full name is Jeffrey Jeff Jefferson Jr. Uh, more Heathers. I was like, what is this? It's Heathers. This is Andre from the band. This is Andre. And then this is Sarah, who's the bass guitar. I guess I ship Max and Andre. Here's a Heather. What? Look at all of this paper for like one drawing. I don't know if this was in any other videos, but I made like a middle class housewives universe. <laughs> and then, uh, oh, I don't remember all their names, but it's so funny. Like just a bunch of Karens and their kids. Boys, we're just playing video games, mom. You're only allowed to play the first one. This one is not rated. This one is rated T for teen, not E for everyone. We're teens, mom. And then just Jesus Christ, Skater Pro 2. More of Jolie and I. Uh. And then there's Lafayette. <laughs> here's Burr. Me, if I were in here, Moten. Um, here's Orion. I like how, I like his like chunky hands. You know, Estella. Estella again. Here's Beth looking like a Pixar mom. Oh, I did a speed paint of this girl because I thought that I would draw her all the time and I don't. Oh, okay. So if you knew the comic, the reason that Sarah has a son is because she had an affair with Miles, right? This is Artie, her son. And he's like, everyone blames me for why my mom isn't here. And then everyone is like, no, we all blame Miles. And then hot take, I blame Sarah. She did it willingly. Um, here's some more expressions. More Hamilton work. Uh, more Hamilton. 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 Oh my god, finally. So this is, I talked about it in the last one a little bit. But these are like elemental girls where she's magma and this is supposed to be water magma and water magma and water i very i really want to like redesign her because she looks a little too much like lapis from steven universe um here's miles who is artie's biological father your fave is problematic. Okay, here's some Max and his band. Hey Andre, our kiss is trending everywhere. I saw it in a few magazines already. Wow. Cringe. Are you too jealous of all the attention Max and Andre are getting? What? No, are you crazy? If anything, I feel bad for them. They aren't used to a lot of attention. Oh, and I guess this is the viral kiss. Cringe. I think this was supposed to be Sophie. Sophie is like a schoolgirl that gets possessed by a demon. Ooh. More expressions, expressions. Sweeney Todd. So I made a Sweeney Todd animatic and I only made one because, well like all the animatics got like copyrighted and stuff, but Sweeney Todd was like, that's mine, you can't do anything to it before I even uploaded it. And I was like, bro, Sweeney Todd. Ooh, video ideas, speed paints, animatics, 
drawing tips, stories. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Girl, you won't ever know what you're doing. Artist problems, pet peeves, cringy phases, concerts, awkward things I did that make me wanna die. School struggles, did that one, did that one, did that one, didn't do that one. I don't even remember going to concerts. Uh, I fear for doing that one and I think I did that one. Oh, I like this. This one is like really cute. Mm, more expressions. Me animate? Does it count as animating? Sure. Mm, debatable. So this is X's band, Downhearted. And then this is Nine, who I originally shipped him with. Oh, them being a couple and watching anime. Here's me flexing on fictional people about how I created Downhearted. I made this joke about Max having his own like body pillow and I think it's really funny. Uh, it's so funny that I forgot to laugh. Whoa, Sarah being problematic? Aww, here's Nine being supportive. I don't know if that would make sense to have both of those things happen where he is just aware that demons exist and he's like, you know what, I'll make an emo band instead, you know? I don't really know if that makes sense. Your guy's kiss is so popular right now, everyone's talking about it. Yeah, there's only one downside. What? All these guys. Um, them having an interview. Don't want to read all of this. There are too many words. Pause it if you're really interested. Hey Andre, this is them when they're younger. You can tell because Andre is has shorter hair. Aw, uh, Max had a crush on Andre before and he wrote a song about him. Here's more expressions. Uh, there's a me and a giant Toro, I guess. Aw, here's like a bunch of Studio Ghibli stuff. More expressions. <laughs> Talking about Moo Moo and Ellie. More expressions. I feel like I drew myself in this pose like 800 times. Um, more about Sarah and Beth. Their story simplified. What the? A child would not... A child would not ask that. Did I have to make their story that edgy? No, the 16 year old me said, you know what, I think we should. We have two left. If you're still here, I love you. Wanna see my grades in art? I don't like what I'm seeing. There's like a still life, rain. Why, why is it like this? Dan and Phil, more Dan and Phil. What? Hot stuff. Phil, stand under the sign. <laughs> um, this is a still life. I don't wanna, I don't wanna open it all the way. It's gonna make everything messy. I feel like that's a Stella. Beans, ooh woo. Wow, that's so good. Wow, that looks so realistic. Like, this is so stupid to put on. Legitimately pissing me off. Should I just rip all of these? Sorry, Dick. Richard. This is Estelle and Orion. Steve and Jeff and Dick and Ronnie. Desmond. Still life of a stroller? Bird on a window seal. Kind of boring, not gonna lie. I want to see all the Undertale fan art that I drew, not still lifes of strollers. So this is Desmond. <gasps> Here's the fan art I was looking for. Here's Metaton. Frisk. Frisk again. A boot. A frog. And then whatever this is. So this is Trey. This is Desmond and his ex-boyfriend, I believe. I tried to recreate something I drew at home that looked cool. Uh, all those paper things were really annoying. I'm not doing anymore. Now, 
for the best part. So this right here is the like Canon mixed media sketchbooks. It's what I still use today. And it's when I start actually using sketchbooks instead of lined paper for the most part. It says Gemsonas, Beth and Sarah, Boy, Desmond, Arden and Feta, The Witch and the Mermaid, Yuri on Ice. <laughs> so this is gonna be very fun. Here's Arden and Feta. It's me as a Jasper, I believe. Jasper and an opal. I love how these are all in color. I drew with, um, I colored everything in these like touch markers because I couldn't afford Copics. Here's Desmond and Boy. Here's, um, if you know Steven Universe, there's this like butterfly episodes where the butterflies are like your memories. And Yellow Barrel story is that Red Barrel got shattered in combat. And then they run away together. Ooh, this is Feta. After, she she's like a fallen angel and really edgy. And Arden's a demon, but he loves her. I don't know. But they look cute together. And here's my witch and mermaid. And uh, here's Harley Quinn. This is Danny and her girlfriend. This is Feta and Arden, red and yellow, Barrel, and the witch. The witch looks so cute. That was like a commission or a request or something. And then this is Ryder and this is Connor. They were like Steve and Jeff. And then there's me, Holly and Haley. Look how cute Haley's outfits are. Um, Panic at the Disco, Inspire, Drawings. Kennedy and Carter. Here's Max. And then Nine, the demon he was supposed to be in love with. Look how, like, fluffy his hair is. Okay. Okay, buddy. This is Max being edgy. And this is Max as he gets older. And here we see him, Dan, Dan, and um, Sarah. And they keep calling him dad because he's the dad friend. And here's Dan's family. Here I was making a fandom for all these characters. Dax. Dan and Max is so canon. No way, Dan is married and straight. Mara is real, Max and Sarah. I ship Dan and Sarah, no. Max may never find love, that is canon. Um, girl, I don't think so. I make head cannons for my own characters that become canon. More Dan being a dad and everything. Here's Max. And then as a kid, look how small and cute he is. So small and awkward. Oh, I guess here's him in an interview. This is where the body pillow joke came from. Have you ever received a weird gift from a fan? Oh yeah, lots, but my favorite, hang on, I have a picture. Someone made a body pillow out of me and gave it to me. They gave me like some sick abs, like the body I've always wanted. And then they're all laughing, haha, <laughs> funny joke. More interview stuff. I don't really care like reading. <laughs> I like this. I was so edgy. I think this is mid shot and my dad walked in. There's his dad. So this is Max's uh, dad and mom fighting. <laughs> Here's him sleeping on that body pillow. More of younger Max. And then here's me trying to make a story for like why these two would not talk to each other after that. Where she leaves and... Aw, oh, he's so sad. Honestly, this is like really cute. Like a cute story. I don't know. Doesn't make sense to you? Doesn't really make sense to me. To have them both exist in the same universe. Both the demon story and then the band story because the band story is the one that I put most effort into. So yeah, I don't know. But the demon thing never like
comes back up or like influences his music at all, so I don't know. This is another Panic at the Disco reference. She's the sun, he's the moon. And here's some gemsonas. This was my first ever drawing of Sarah, and originally I made her a brunette. Which, I mean, technically she is, but she prefers dyeing her hair blonde. And then this is Beth, when they first meet. Aww. I like how drastically it changes. Where it's like, oh, it's them meeting for the first time and she stays the night there after, you know, meeting her for the first time. So she stays the night. And then this is like, cut to like months after the relationship and they get in a fight and Sarah moves out. This is Yuri on Ice. And here we have more Yuri on Ice. Yuri on Ice. Uh, I don't remember their names. He my coach, Victor. And then he basically got them engagement rings. This is a cute picture. There's Desmond and the Yuri on Ice guy. <laughs> more Yuri on Ice. Even more Yuri on Ice. Even more Yuri on Ice. I guess I don't even remember most of that show, but uh, I it obviously made uh, made itself a part of my personality. I love this. And then here are my little elves. They're so cute. More gemsonas. Um, the fusion of yellow barrel and then the rose quartz. Smooches? <gasps> um, them just hanging out. This is nine. That's a cool three. Okay. Joey and I gender swapped again. And then whoever these people are. I know this is a weird memory to have, but you know on Instagram where like at the end of the year you can see like what your most popular post was? I remember this page was my most popular of that year. Here's Jinx and Cynthia. Or maybe this one was the most popular, I'm not sure. Sarah and Beth when they're older. Look, Sarah's a brunette now. Oh boy. Yay, more edgy comics. I don't want to read them because there's a lot of words, but feel free to pause if you want to. But I know that it's just very edgy and really dated. Blah. Oh my god, how edgy. Um, I guess that was her finding out uh, that Sarah had an affair and everything. Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, this is so, like, this is a lot. If you're interested in their storyline, in the last sketchbook tour, I read their comic that I made, which goes in depth about their story. And I went on for a big old tangent, but these are all basically the same things. Beth at a bar, like, where's your hot chocolate? See that new girl over there, Beth? I'd so tap that. That's my girlfriend. Beth's, what is this? Well, I guess Sarah went to her school and showed her up. Which, honestly, now that I'm in college, it's really not big of a deal. This is cute, her face is cute. Then here's Miles. People hate Miles. When I was like posting about it and stuff, everyone was like, Let's kill him. Which, I mean, fair. And then, so because they have this band, um, I made them their like album covers. This was their first one, their second one, their third one, and then a fourth one. And I'm guessing that they were, like the band was based off of like, My Chemical Romance, Panic at the Disco, 21 Pilots. Um, this was the original band. There's Max, Sarah, Dan, Andre and Pat. Pat was kind of, acted kind of like a songwriter 
slash like manager thing. Like he brought everyone together and stuff. So he's a guitarist, bassist, singer, drummer, and then Pat. <laughs> when Pat dies, the band kinda falls apart and they stop making music. Then later they make it again. Here's another self-portrait. More self-portraits. Aww, this is the speed paint that I did for when I hit a thousand subscribers. Aww. Here's that Jasper. This is Selfie, the girl that gets possessed by a demon. And then I think that's it. There's a few like blank pages at the end, but I feel like that has to do with me like being afraid to like end a sketchbook and and then just buying way more sketchbooks than I need and then filling those out. So that wraps it up for this sketchbook tour. And if you still made it this far, that is crazy. And I thank you for it. I have a feeling that you're procrastinating something. So you should probably go do it right now because you finished this entire video. So I think it's time to go start that project. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it that you made it this far into the video. And um, thank you again, Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And um, I will see you guys next time. Bye.